everyone, it's Jordan Jones, and welcome back to my podcast, What They Don't Tell You on Podcast One. A super exciting announcement. We have our merch drop, round two. You guys, this design and this collection, the next couple collections are going to blow your mind. I'm going to throw up a couple of the different styles on the screen to give you guys watching this episode a sneak peek. It's going to be coming out at the end of this month or beginning of next month. So just stay tuned on the podcast to really hear the launch date and be the first ones to know and to get it. But I'm so excited about this collection and my future collection. So just stay tuned and again... These pieces are so obsessed. I have been wearing them every day. For this episode, basically, I asked you guys on my Instagram story to give me some topics to talk about. It's going to be a quick episode today, but honestly, some of these questions are pretty interesting, and I really haven't done, like, an alone, like, Q&A type of video in a while, so I feel like this will be kind of fun and special. So the first question is finding yourself again. This is, like, really crazy for me to talk about because I've always kind of been reliant um, on, I feel like, other people in my life because I grew up in the industry. I grew up dancing. I've always had managers. My mom was always next to me. I've always had, you know, agents and teams and just people telling me, you know, where I need to go and where I need to be and keeping me on top of myself and my schedule. And I feel like in all of that, I easily got like lost in kind of being almost like a robot. And that's just what came with my career. And I feel like a lot of people don't really know that about this industry, but a lot of influencers, I feel like especially girls because we have like more like events to go to or it just takes a freaking way long. It's just like a it's like a whole thing when I I don't even know like my guy friends will just be like, oh, what do you mean? Like it's not stressful at all. I literally put on like a a jacket and a suit and I get to go to the event. Like I don't know what it is, but like my girlfriends and I, we talk about like just how stressful and how much work it kind of is like that. And because it's so much being Jordan Jones that you kind of lose the Jordan part or my Michigan self and things like that. It's really hard to explain. I feel like my scenario is a little bit different because I've always kind of focused on being happy first and my friendships, my relationships, and all of that kind of first before work. But I do have a lot of friends who put work first. I feel like it's like a Sagittarius and like Capricorn thing that they're just like work, work, work. And I'm a little like Pisces over here being like, I just love my life and I'm a main character and I have priorities and I do them. But when I don't have priorities, I just like F off. And that's kind of how I started to find myself again was... I feel like when I was like 15, 16, I was in the era I'm kind of in now. And then like 17 till COVID hit, I was like a robot. I feel like I was just scheduled. I was just like working a lot. And that wasn't bad because it got me to be at a point, I feel like, where I can kind of loosen up on that and have more free time and focus on relationships again and have more fun, I guess. Not saying everyone's like in this industry I'm in. Everyone has commitments. I feel like when you kind of draw yourself back a little bit from commitment and give yourself a little bit more time to breathe, you're kind of able to slowly find yourself again. It's kind of a really long, drawn out way of saying this, but I really wanted to explain it and how I felt because I was literally like getting like ready again today. And for the past probably two weeks, I literally haven't. And I was like, wow, I feel like Jordan Jones again. I just felt like I was like the past couple weeks, I've just been me and I've been happy and Now, I'm not saying I'm not, but it's just different, you know? I have things to do, and I forget that I have, like, followers sometimes, and so I am different. So sometimes when I feel normal, that's when I kind of feel like I am myself again. I'm trying to make sense about it, but the best way to describe it is give yourself some time to breathe, time to relax, away from the distractions and commitments and have-tos and to-dos and (laughs) have-to-dos, and kind of just do what makes you happy, and I feel like you will find yourself. All right, the next question is workout tips. I would say, personally for me, kind of growing up with dancing and dance classes, I always had classes, and I had a schedule, and that's how I stayed on top of it, kind of contradicting the last one. But for me personally, I have to have scheduled classes or trainer or something like that because it kind of keeps me motivated and keeps me on a schedule 
and maybe like a robot, whatever. Like I really only do Pilates, to be honest, and I like walking as well. But my workout tips is having a class and or a trainer because it kind of keeps you going. Because if I was to just, just say, oh, I have to go to the gym tomorrow, and then my friend's like, oh, but you want to do breakfast? I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'll go to the gym later, and then I don't go. So that's why I'm just saying having a schedule or a class or a trainer is my biggest tip, and I feel like it makes it more fun. Yeah, you kind of stick to it. Why do people struggle to make good choices? I really like this question. I feel like this generation is all about being cool and what's cool, how to be cool, how to fit in. And that kind of goes with the whole finding yourself thing. That's why it all kind of ties into this episode today. The smaller your group and circle, the least amount of bad decisions you're gonna make. I feel like there's no competition in small circles. And also, I, I've just been really lucky with my friends that I have. And LA, everyone says people are so fake. I'm just not in that. I don't see that. I'm not a part of that. I don't hang out with anyone that is fake. I think it's because I don't party and I don't do what's cool because I kind of am just like happy chilling like by myself and like doing what makes me happy. I don't know. Maybe it comes with being independent at a young age, kind of. I'm still young. I, I know I said earlier that I was like dependent on like my team and mom and all of that. But at the same time, like, I have been in the industry, like, I grew up really fast. I didn't have a normal long, like, school, and then, like, I'm out, and then, like, I'm on my own, like, after I'm 18 or, like, 21, whatever. But, like, 15 years old, I mean, I was pretty much, I could do everything. I could book flights. I could go on trips. It kind of set me up to be independent and know the way around this freaking world. Because of that, I just felt like I never got looped into bad decisions also because I was always working. Whenever I was free, I was doing things that made me happy. It wasn't like, oh, I'm so stressed out and I'm friends with the wrong people who get me into things. It's been like everything in my life was like work and being a role model and I, it was just easy for me to steer clear of anything negative. I always look at what I would want like for my kids or how my mom would look at me or my dad or my brother and just things like that. And like I have a niece and a nephew and I just always kind of wanted to be a good role model. So that always steered me clear. But like I said, I it's just like I never really had time. I wasn't in that scene of high school and college and partying or like the LA club scene. It's just, I've never been, I've never drank, obviously. I'm not interested, I don't want to. I just always think about how other people would feel with my actions. Hey, Jordan. Yes. Do you ever wish you had a regular high school life? Ooh, good question, Steve. He asked if I ever wish I had a regular high school life. The thing is, is that I love my life and everything that's really ever happened in it is kind of all unfolded. But I just wish that I was a little bit more normal. When I say that, it's just because, like, I do go out in public, obviously, and I take pictures, and I love that. And then, like, I'm with, like, my friends, because I'm not friends with anyone, basically, who's famous except for, like, Katie and Tila. Those are the people I, like, hang out with, uh, aside from, like, my car friends and the friends I grew up with, like Stevie and Lily. And you guys will have Lily on the podcast soon. But I just feel like I, I almost don't, I almost feel like some of my friends feel uncomfortable with it and I forget that I say like have followers and I have people in my life say they're like private on Instagram and like I tag them and I just don't think anything of it and then it's like oh my gosh I'm getting bombarded with like requests and so there's like a little bit in me that's like oh my gosh I like forget and I just I thought that that was like normal it's like probably a lot for someone to just like you know have like a normal life and then be thrown into my life it's very different so I just feel like my life is a little overwhelming I feel like I come with a lot of baggage you know what I'm saying so it's just not easy that's like one thing is I feel like I wish sometimes I was a little bit more normal because I don't want to stress anyone else out does that make sense Steve it does Jordan (laughs) I just have like a lot of normal friends, I feel like. I'm not friends with a lot of social media people. So say I get asked for a picture and then everyone's like, can I have a picture? Like kind of like joking about it. But obviously 
they are all supportive. And they just think it's funny. I don't know. It's kind of just been something since I was like six, 14, 15 that has been gradual for me when I'm with people and it's just not normal. I'm just not constantly just with this like lights, camera and action type of thing. So when it does happen, I, I'm still kind of startled by it because my friends are like, that's not normal, you know? And I've just, it's just been something since I was so young. So I don't know. I kind of rambled about that and like this whole podcast, but that's what we're here for. It's okay to be abnormal, Jordan. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. What makes a good guy? I just feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have to ask something like that, I feel like you have someone in your head. And if you have to, like, question it, I don't think that they're a good guy. You know what I'm saying? Someone who has the same, like, values and morals as you, I feel like is the best start. If there is just someone that's just so opposite, sure, maybe that's going to be fun for a second, but... That's not very sustainable because you have completely different morals. And that is what, to me, makes a good guy, is if you are just so respectful, you have, like, family first, and you are nice to people outside. And, like, we always talk about this, like, waiters or people who, like, fast food workers. I don't even know. It's just, like, I feel like being respectful, caring, um, good personality, like humor, someone who's smart. I mean, like, I just feel like that all makes a good guy because you want your husband and your kids to look at your dad like that. And I just feel like I kind of always think, okay, how do I want to be a good mom? And how can I kind of portray that at a young age? Basically, I just always think like that would, because my mom has always been like that to me. Like my mom's the best thing in the entire world so I want to be like that to my kid and then that makes me want to be a good girlfriend a good wife and a good mom I'm just saying I think you need to think about it like that oh wait that's it because we're gonna go into another episode but again check out this merch on the screen make sure you guys stay up to date on that in the next episode I'm going to be doing who's most likely to contacts edition so stay tuned for that and I'm actually currently in Cancun for Gigi's birthday for seven days. I've never really been on a vacation that I feel like is not work, except for maybe my 18th birthday. Maybe I was 19, I can't remember. But like pre-COVID, this is like my first vacation. So I'm excited. I will see you guys next week with a new episode. Make sure to rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts and add us to your Spotify playlist. Check out the merch and I will see you guys soon.